Good afternoon, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Friday, May 20th, and I'm Hallie Barham here with another daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. Some art students recently competed in a national competition. WTV's Victoria Gong has more. The Visual Arts Scholastic event, also known as VASE, is one of the biggest art competitions there is for students. Participants had the opportunity to create up to two pieces of art using a medium of their choice. Niti Shah, Natalie Otis Herrera, and Sage Simmons all excelled at the regional level and advanced to state in San Antonio in late April. It was a picture of me holding a crystal ball and it was done in white color pencil. Really just like seeing the final product because it's really satisfying just to see all your hard work finished and it's really enjoyable just to relax. Um, seeing everyone's work at Waste was very inspiring because there's a lot of uh, very talented artists. I'm Victoria Young with Wingspan TV. Breast cancer has an entire month dedicated to raising money, but that's not the only cancer that affects people right here in North Texas. WTV's Keegan Williams has more. Brain cancer is a disease that affects a patient's brain tissue, causing swelling, seizures, and changes in mental health. To help increase attention for brain cancer, there's at least one group helping out. So Head for the Cure is an organization that raises uh, awareness and support uh, for uh, brain cancer research. We support families, caregivers, the entire community, in addition to our brave survivors who uh, are fighting brain tumors and, br and uh, brain cancer every day. Brain cancer is not the most common type of cancer, but many people across the U.S. are still diagnosed. So uh, we raise our money through 5K events like the one here today in North Texas. Uh, all of our proceeds from every event goes to support brain cancer research uh, nationwide through an organization we helped start called the Brain Tumor Trials Collaborative and also helps with local efforts like at UT Southwestern here in Dallas. Uh, so it's just a, a huge celebration of, of life and hope and spirit and, uh, and also remembering folks who, uh, who are in the battle or who have, uh, who have finished their battle. I'm Keegan Williams for WTV. Today is Friday, which means another edition of Frisco Feasts, Foods, and Faves. Let's see what food do Jay Schlegel takes a bite into this week. WTV's Jay Schlegel here with another edition of Frisco Feasts, Foods, and Faves. Today we're at Chef in Blue on Preston, Lebanon. I'm excited. How about you? Let's go inside and check it out. I'm here with the general manager of Chef in Blue, Alessandra Rodriguez. Alessandra, thanks so much for having us. Oh yeah, absolutely. Could you tell us a little bit about the history of your restaurant? Yeah, so uh, it started with actually my dad wanted to put a restaurant. He loves food, he loves restaurants, so he talked to my uncle who's the chef and uh, he helped them develop the menu and that way um, my dad was able to open Chef in Blue with the crepe concept really, which is our star of the menu. Um, and we opened in 2013. We're family owned and operated. I can um, tell based on all family coming yes, together for yeah, this Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, we, we love working here and we love meeting people. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, been, it's been fun ever since. That's yeah. awesome. Well, hey, Alessandra, thanks so much for having us. Uh, looking forward to getting back in the kitchen. I'm back in the kitchen with Alessandra. Alessandra, what are we going to be making today? So, we're going to make one of our most popular specialty crepes. It's called a Maya. It has Mexican chorizo, spinach, uh, avocado, onions, uh, tomatoes, cilantro. It's, it's really good. And then we're going to make a dessert crepe, and that one's called uh, Dulce de Leche Supreme. And that one's also very popular, so hope Amazing. you guys like it. Amazing. All right, let's yeah. go ahead and get started. All right. So what do we got going on here? What kind of setup we got? Okay, so this is a crepe batter. Okay. We already have it ready to go. And How's it different from like a pancake batter? Is it kind of the same thing? Or kind of the same different? thing, but uh, it does not have any baking powder or you know baking soda, so it doesn't rise. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna put in the chorizo. Okay. okay. So what exactly is chorizo again? So it, this is uh, like ground pork, and it's spiced. Um, it has a little bit of um, herbs and spices in it, okay. salt, pepper. It looks delicious. Yeah, it smells really good too. So what kind of influenced uh, the creation of this dish? So um, we know that Mexican food is very popular in Texas, yes. especially. So we wanted to do something with the flavors of Tex-Mex. I've had maybe like a savory crepe once before. So what, what kind of inspired this idea of making a crepe of meal? Well, uh, actually in France, it's very popular, um, especially in, well, Paris, like in the street side, they serve like ham and cheese crepes, they serve um, crepes with salmon, and so it, 
it's really something that we're stealing that idea from them okay. that it wasn't really used here in the U.S. Like most people know crepes for the sweet crepes, right. so. Right. And on this next crepe that you'll be making as well. The next crepe is going to have a homemade uh, or house-made dulce de leche. So it's like a caramel cream. Uh, then it's going to have coconut and pecans and yeah and strawberries. Oh, Sandra, thank you so much for having us. Yeah. Can't wait to take my first bite. Oh, well, thanks for coming. Finally, I get to sit down and take my first bite of the Chef in Blue specialty dishes. Over here, we have our savory crepe, which is the Maya. It's filled with the chorizo and the, the vegetables. And of course, we've got that hot sauce, that Peruvian hot sauce that reflects the, the family essence that, that makes this restaurant so special. Now we've got the dessert crepe over here, which is the Dolce de Leche Supreme, made with this homemade caramel cream sauce. Of course, can't go wrong with this specialty house-made cappuccino. I'm excited. How about y'all? Let's go ahead and pour that hot sauce on there. Time to dive in. Now that's good crepe. This has been Jay Schlegel with another edition of Frisco Feast, Foods, and Faves. If you happen to visit Chef in Blue, tweet us a picture of you and your crepe at Liberty Wingspan. If you're looking for more information about a story or a current news event, Check out our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. If you have an announcement you'd like to share, please forward the information to your club sponsor. That's it for today's Daily Update. I'm Hallie Barm with WTV.